Hi, I'm Donna with Williamson Source, and today we're down here at the City of Franklin with the Fire Chief Rocky Gosrick. And so, Rocky, can you tell us a little bit about the City of Franklin Fire Department? Ye yes, we uh, have 158 total personnel working out of six facilities, six fire stations, and we also have a training center that we uh, do some daily training at uh, to keep our professionalism and our career firefighters uh, ready for handle the challenges in our city. Um, and we have about, out of that 158 total employees, we have about 18 administrative employees. And so what is the number one thing that most homeowners fail to see as a fire prevention in their home? Well, r really the uh, two leading, th there's three leading causes when it comes to fires that we experience here in Franklin, and that's unattended cooking fires, um, electrical equipment that uh, is either malfunctioned or need is, needs to be replaced that overheats and then also um, things like uh, heating units, fireplaces and, and during certain times of the year um, candles, the use of candles uh, we've had some fires caused by people uh, trying to use candles for ambiance in their houses and leaving them unattended and starting fires that way. So. so what are some safety prevention things that homeowners can take to avoid some of these fires? Well obviously uh, working smoke detectors and smoke alarms in the residential properties as well as having an escape plan and practicing that escape plan uh, because usually uh, when the smoke detectors, smoke alarms go off at night um, people that have not practiced that plan um, are not as well adapt to executing that plan as necessary. So, you know, working smoke alarms as well as having an escape plan are essential. That's very true. And having a, like, a set time where you check those smoke alarms? It, it's, it's best to do it monthly, um, but, and that's our preference. Just, do it monthly, walk by, hit the test button, make sure it's functioning properly. Uh, it'll sound off for just a few seconds and uh, then you'll know that your family is safe. And then what other things do the fire department responsible for that we may not know or realize that you guys also take care of? Well, emergency medical service is a huge component of what we do nowadays. It encompasses about 70% uh, of our overall call capacity. Uh, as well as we respond to hazardous material incidents, chemical spilt on our major thoroughfares and highways that we respond on to uh, mitigate. And how many residents are you guys covering? Well, population, we believe, estimated population in the city of Franklin is approximately 65,000. So we're doing a, a new census right now, and uh, we believe there's a few more than that. So. Uh, somewhere between 65 and 70,000. Is there, uh, does the City of Franklin Fire Department have a mascot or anything that we can look for? No, I did look at an old picture in the archives uh, that dated back about 30 plus years and saw uh, one of the stations had a fire dog, but uh, we do have a fire suit, a Sparky the Fire Dog suit that our employees, our firefighters, uh, put that on and attend events and get our public safety message out there to the, the community and um, helping us reduce the community risk associated with fires and, and our guys do a, a tremendous job delivering that message. And you also attend the schools and do some programs there? Yeah, we, we attend the schools. Uh, we have a fire safety house. Uh, Currently, um, we are without a fire and life safety educator, but that's a huge component of what we do. Uh, a couple of our firefighters have agreed to come in over the next few months. Uh, October is traditionally a fire prevention month, so uh, we're extremely busy during that time of year. So a couple of the firefighters have agreed to come in and assist uh, in that uh, vacant fire and life safety educator uh, job that we have currently. Is there a website that we can visit to have more information about the City of Franklin Fire Department? Yes, you can go to the City of Franklin. Also, you can click on the departments and go to fire. And uh, we have a frequently asked questions as well as you can click on the station locations for 
various sections of our community and see which station serves your uh, area, particular area. And, um, you know, we talk about uh, fire hydrants and how we flush fire hydrants on there. We talk about our ISO rating, which is our fire protection rating, with, so that the homeowners can make sure that they're um, notifying their agents that underwrite their insurance premiums on their homes that we're a class two, which is one of the best in the state. That's good to know. Another good reason to live in Williamson County. Thank you so much, Chief, and we appreciate your time today. Thank you.